drip or trickle irrigation in drip or trickle irrigation narrow plastic tubes are laid just on or below the soil there are small holes in these tubes at particular distances water drips or trickles to the roots of the plants as the water is supplied below the top layer of the soil it is not wasted through evaporation at the same time the roots receive the amount of water they require this is one of the best methods and can be used on all crops and soils but because of the high cost involved it is not practical for most farmers it is used by big farmers mostly for fruits and vegetables bund irrigation bund irrigation is especially useful for rice crop paddy requires water logged fields to grow well bunds that is mud walls are erected on small plots the big fields are divided into small sections and filled with water as the rice plants grow tall and the crop starts to ripen the buns are broken down and the water drains out furrow irrigation furrow irrigation is another popular and cheap method most crops that are planted in rows such as corn cotton and potatoes are irrigated by narrow ditches called furrows these are dug across the field the farmer plants seeds in the ridges between the furrows as water enters the furrows it seeps into the ridges swinging basket irrigation swinging basket irrigation is an extremely old method of watering the fields the fields are watered from a small pond nearby using a small basket held by two men most of the water used for agriculture is lost while transferring it to the fields there are many methods of irrigation the farmer has to choose one that is best suited to his needs and which at the same time minimizes wastage of water